So if this table is complete, meaning they have the total number of possible options, um, three is the maximum number of responses and zero is the minimum, then that means all the relative frequencies should add up to one. And the rationale for that is because one represents 100%. If you list out all the different probabilities in a game, all the probabilities should add up to one because you've got all the different options laid out. At least one of them is going to happen. You have a 100% chance that one of them is going to happen. So like, for instance, let's say you're playing a game and, uh, well, just think about dice. If you add the probability of rolling a one to the probability of rolling a two to the probability of a three, of a four, of a five, and a six, adding all those prob probabilities should equal one because it's a 100% guarantee that you at least roll, that you roll a number between one and six. So I made this quick little equation, 0 0.2 plus some number we don't know, plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1. That should add up to make 1, which stands for 100%. So if we add up all the constants over here, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 makes 0 0.5. And then if you subtract that 0 0.5 from both sides, you get x is 0 0.5. So that's the relative frequency that's missing here.